howdy do! I'm Sarge from the popular web series, Red vs. Blue. And I'm Simmons from that same show. Today we're going to be doing a special PSA about acting. Buckle up, man! It. Top Brass is putting on a master class! Now, Red vs. Blue has always set the highest bar for quality voice talent, hiring consummate professionals for every role, no matter how small. But let's say, hypothetically, you didn't hire professional voice artists for your web series. Let's say instead, you were just some dumb idiot and cast your idiot friends instead. Like, literally, who was ever around at the time? Just in the way! You put a microphone in front of them! Well, son, you done fucked up. Amateur voice actors are the worst. Your friends likely have all the emotional depth of cheap copy paper. Worry not, my friend. Reinforcements are on the way. Here is the Red vs. Blue Guide to Working with Amateur Voice Actors. There are many schools of acting in the universe. The Meissner Techniques, Lee Strasberg's Method, Stanislavski System. For amateur actors, however, we recommend you use helmet filters. You say tomato, I say tomato! But it all sounds the same through a broken walkie-talkie. With a good helmet filter, much or most of your dialogue will be incomprehensible. This will work in your favor, because if viewers don't know what you said, they also won't know you've said it wrong. Why do you always leave the garage door open? This is fine. You always argue me about the garage door. I don't even understand. Why do you want me to get a cat? Ha <laughs> ha! That was probably very funny. Now, real actors will tell you that their craft is all about making choices. The obvious choice is to err on the side of over-the-top cartoonish performances full of flair. And exaggeration! This incompetent approach is utter hogwash! The only thing worse is a voice actor who makes no choices and just uses their normal voice without any changes. You know, Simmons, you do such a great job of masking your actual accent, sometimes I forget what your real voice even sounds like! Thank you, sir. The voice I use for my character Simmons is a careful mask. My native accent is a result of growing up in Scotland and West Texas. Here's what I actually sound like when the microphones are off. Boy, howdy, ya wee lass. My hovercraft slipping for wee eels, y'all. Ah, forget about it. So natural! Just goes to show that voice acting is all about subtlety! The art of understatement! Less is more. But if you want nuance from your amigos, well, too bad. The emotionless reptiles you call friends are as subtle as a Category 5 hurricane. Instead, you're going to want to focus on volume control. Here to talk about the delicate intricacies of volume is our resident expert, Kaboom. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I am Professor Kaboom, and I'm here to talk to you today about volume control! Ah! Whisper, whisper, yeah! Oh my god! Sometimes it's pretend like they, they're telling your best friend a secret! You get really quiet! Like you've lost control of an airplane! If you talk at random levels, everyone seems just like maybe you're having a stroke! But maybe, in any case, I deserve acting award! And see. Before we head into the VO booth, it's important to give your actors a quick warm-up exercise. Many amateur actors get hung up on pronunciation, but repetition of a difficult phrase will help them get into the right headspace. Watch as we demonstrate how professionals handle this simple warm-up. Repeat after me, Simmons. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Double time. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Forwards and backwards. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Nailed it, Simmons. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. Not a single mistake. Once it's time to record, there are several things to keep in mind. A trained actor, like myself, will carefully study a script for days on end in order to understand the deeper context and hidden meanings within a script. This deep reading of a screenplay is critical for an actor to understand their character and the context of each word in the dialogue. However, the dumb apes you asked to grunt out your masterpiece won't read that script until the very moment they're speaking the words into a microphone. So, as a director, you'll have to break things down for them. Oh, it's you! I've been waiting a long time for this. Actually, in this scene, your character is confronting the person who murdered their wife. Confused now. Can you break that down for me? You want revenge. So, louder? You mad. All right, why don't you just give me a line reading there, Mr. James Cameron? On the upside, you can get ignorant actors to say whatever you want. Does anyone have an adult diaper lying around? I've had a bit of an accident in here. I'll have to record Doc's lines later. Oh, what a mess! Whoever wrote these wonderful lines deserve one million dot. Wait a minute, I'm not going to read that. How about whoever wrote this deserves to be fired? You're all fired! How about them apples? You might not be able to prepare your actors as much as you'd like, 
However, digital technology means you can ask them to do as many takes as you need to get the perfect one. Ah! My balls! Let's do one more take. Nah, it's okay, I'm good. Okay. Finally, if you assume that your amateur actors will be low maintenance and easy to work with, you're in for a rude awakening. In reality, it's quite the opposite, especially if they think they're naturally funnier than your script. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Nailed it! Get em up, dirtbag! Hands em up! Hands a pansy! I'm just gonna keep going for a minute. Hey, get your hands down! Just kidding, it's opposite day! Put em up! Up and away! Up, up and away! Spirited away! Miyazaki! Damn, Simmons, this is gold! You getting all this? I threw in an anime reference. He's the boss, so, you know, I just smile and nod. I am really feeling this. I'd like to do one or two hundred more takes. I'm gonna go take lunch. Simon says get your hands up. Get your hands up. Baby, hands up. Baby, hit me one more time. Finally, a few parting thoughts before we leave you today. In your war against amateur voice talent, you're gonna want to choose your battles and prepare to lose them all. Stanislavski taught his students that acting is reacting. The most important thing a performer can do is really listen to their scene partner. Right, Sarge? Absolutely, Lopez. By listening, you can riff off your scene partner's energy and emotions. This will help dialogue feel free-flowing and natural. It can even reach a point where you and your scene partner start automatically finishing each other's... All right, okay. Actors are like weapons. They all have different ranges. Christian Bale is an intercontinental ballistic missile. On the other hand, your friend who works at GameStop does not have the range to play a ruthless space mercenary. Maybe cast your friend as Donut's evil clone instead. Evil Donut. Couldn't agree more. If another friend changes their character's voice over time, best just ignore it. Consistency, consistency is what I always say. And if you think hitting it big and becoming a highly successful series will encourage your friends to, say, take some acting classes, don't hold your breath. They won't. They will just keep dialing it in forever and ever and ever. When's lunch? Our final piece of advice is that you should do everything within your power to avoid this situation altogether and only hire professionals. Professionals like us. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, we really did this wrong. <clears throat> Can't spell ass without class. Got that backwards. Oh my god. Less sta Stasper's method and the sta Stanislavski. I hate you. <laughs> I didn't write this. Pad kid, poured cold, pork, 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 pork. You got something in there. You can make it work, I'm sure. Uh, no, 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 but what's he, what's he saying? Uh, I don't know, what if something Like, we have to start the camera on the line that I'm most perplexed about. I can't. <laughs> also. I forget what your voice really sounds like. Scottish Texan accent. <laughs> I hate you all so much. Have you ever eaten a blackberry before? Yeah. Has anyone ever eaten a blackberry before? Yeah. I made a protein shake using blackberries. <laughs> don't ever do that. However, those dumb apes you asked to voice your masterpiece probably won't read the script until the very moment they're speaking the words into a microphone. Hey! Pad kid, port curd, pull cod. Pad kid, port pull cod. Cat. Pad kid, port pull cod. That's <laughs> messed up. Uh, for the record, I've been shouting here for like the past three hours. I, I, I worked right there at that computer. And now I can't talk. <laughs> Hello! Everybody, everybody in the building's like, yeah, no, we heard you. <laughs> we all heard every word that you said. <laughs> they certainly won't. They'll just keep phoning it in forever and ever. And ever. And ever. When's the check coming? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is the first time in like 15 years anyone's ever recorded uh, me doing this. And it's the worst I've ever done. Thanks for checking out that episode of RVB. You can find the playlist to watch more below, or you can go to roosterteeth.com to check out the latest RT shows. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, or leave a comment.